Hi, everyone. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Some of you might find this very interesting. Just a little while ago, there was a magnitude 5.9 off the coast of Guatemala. It was along or close to the Middle American Ridge. So far, 28 people have reported feeling this earthquake at a depth of 10 kilometers. This probably was an aftershock of an earthquake. It was originally an 8.1 earthquake, but USGS upgraded to an 8.2 that happened in September of 2017. They believe that this earthquake actually ruptured the entire plate in that area, um, the entire crust. Here's location of that earthquake that happened today, the 5.9. The 8.2 earthquake had a depth of 47.4 kilometers in depth, so that would be about 29 and a half miles deep. All, all earthquakes are measured from sea level. 3,204 people reported feeling this earthquake. There is a lot of faults within this area of the 5.9 that occurred today. And this is the Middle American Subduction Trench. Geologists also believe that an earthquake of, what, a 6.6 .6 in 2014 and then another one in 2017 prior to this 8.2 earthquake uh, changed the stress of this area, which set up the uh, effect of what happened later, which... The, yeah, the entire crust ended up breaking. EarthJ.com has a lot of good papers about different earthquakes. Yeah, the guy really knows his stuff. But anyways, he's got two areas that he calls, calls sausage areas. Um, here we got aftershocks, the region of aftershocks in 2017 from that 8.2 earthquake. This is the location of today's 5.9 earthquake. Using Google Earth, if we pull this out a little bit, you can see down below here we've got the subsidence, the movement of the Cocos Plate. This area also, too, has part of the Farlon Plate, which broke off and moved into, into this location. Here we have an archive of a research paper that says that the Guatemala Trench was formed in the place of subduction of the Cocos Plate, which is a young tectonic plate created as a result of the breakup of the Farlon Plate into two tectonic plates, Nazca and Cocos. The Coco Plate is bounded by several tectonic plates, by the North American Plate on the northeast, the Caribbean Plate on the south, Pacific Plate on the west, and by Nazca Plate on the south. Guatemala Trench marks the end of the North American continent up to the Guatemala Traverse Zone. And they have an image here of the Middle American Trench and the Guatemala Trench. Here we got the Cocos Plate, the Pacific Ocean. The subduction of the Cocos Plate in the Paleogene caused eruptions of the volcanoes, which resulted in the act of melting and formation of magma. As a result, the Pacific Volcanic Chain is now notable along the Guatemala Trench. The movement is also why the Caribbean. That whole area, that ring, has lots of volcanoes. Another research paper about the magnitude 8.2 earthquake that occurred on September 8th. It says here, of a normal faulting earthquake ruptured within the subducting Cocos Plate, 70 kilometers landward from the Middle American Trench, beneath the Taiwan Tepic Gap. Literally, literative inversion and modeling of telesomatic and tsunami data, data and predicting of GPS displacement indicates that the steeply dipping rupture extended 180 kilometers to the northwest along strike towards the um, Oaxaca coast and from 30 to 70 kilometers in depth with a peak slip of 13 meters. The rupture likely broke through the entire the entire lithosphere of the young subducted slab in response to the down dip slab pole. Here we have an image of the earth, the upper crust, anywhere from 0 to 100 kilometers. And we got the lithosphere, 
the crust and the upper uppermost solid mantle and then down below we got the mantle and the athenosphere sorry for pronouncing it wrong you guys know i'm dyslexic but you get the drift so the earth's crust broke the entire lithosphere the entire length that magnitude 8.2 earthquake will be having large earthquakes in this location probably for decades to come afterwards again here we got the cocos plate which is subducting the guatemala trench which is along here um, the fault zone the middle american trench and the location of that uh, 2017 magnitude 8.2 and this area which has lots of faults within it and the location of today's 5.9 earthquake so if you have family down there uh, definitely send prayers to them um, this, like i said aftershocks are going to continue for decades did they notice anything with the animals prior to this earthquake did they have any damage um, hopefully no one was injured um, please put your comments down below put your information down below thank you for watching I'm also on Twitter and you can support my work on patreon uh, please stay safe and I will talk to you later God bless you bye